Hi there, my name is Amber Stevens. I am the center director at the Kumon location in Austin at Avery Ranch and Parmer. And what I'm gonna do right now is to share my PowerPoint presentation with you of my parent orientation meeting. The goal of this is that you can watch this and learn from it so that next time we meet, we can do your child's placement test. All right, so the Kumon method has been in existence for over 60 years and Right now, currently, we have 4 million students studying in 55 different countries around the world doing Kumon. Mr. Kumon created the original math worksheets in Japan in the mid-1950s, and he actually created them for his son, Takeshi, who came home from second grade with a B on his math test. He was really disappointed. And so what Mrs. Kumon did was to ask her husband, Mr. Kumon, who was a high school calculus teacher at the time, to help their son, Takeshi, with his math. So what he did was far beyond what most of us do if we are asked to help our kids with math. And Mr. Kumon actually reverse engineered the curriculum, uh, sorry, calculus, which is you know, his area of knowledge. He reverse engineered it and he got the whole entire math curriculum that we still use today for Kumon. So it started with a love um, of, of his son and a love of learning and then just working on building and growing that. So one of the kind of byproducts of Kumon is that students have a really high level of confidence. Um, we start with rebuilding a student's foundation and that's really an, a, a gentle and kind way to start the Kumon program, which again was part of Mr. Kumon's design. He called Kumon the kindest method of learning. So how does the program work? First, your child takes a placement test that will give me their starting point from there, I will make an individualized lesson plan for them, a worksheet study. Uh, after that, your child will do daily assignments. Two days a week, they do Kumon with us in class, and the other five days a week, they do Kumon at home with you, homework. So the worksheets are uniquely designed to foster self-learning skills and to promote independence. And so we'll definitely train the students on how do they learn directly from the worksheets. And then from there, your child's progress and advancement is unlimited. It's just based on their potential. It's not based on their age or their grade. So independent learning is something that is um, unique to Kumon. Most tutoring programs will help a student work on what they're struggling in and probably things on their grade level, but not necessarily going back and you know, kind of strengthening in the base of the foundation and moving up and beyond, um, beyond grade level from there. So what we have at Kumon and why parents love the program so much is that we have a time-tested curriculum. It's been around for over 60 years and it's served, I believe, 16 million students in that time. Also, each instructor individually lesson plans each student's lesson. And so it's tailored to them based on their strengths, their goals, and their needs. It is paper, paper to pencil learning, which a lot of parents are appreciating right now with so much screen time and Zoom going on. Um, and again, we will help them develop their self-learning skills and independence. And then the, the students will all advance at their own pace based on their potential. What will they learn in the math program? Math covers from counting to calculus and beyond. We will build a strong foundation. The students will become proficient in math operations. We will improve mental calculation, speed and accuracy, making homework and test taking easier, and then just increasing their confidence in math. On the reading program, what we will build is pre-reading skills through sentences into paragraphs over to summarizing and on to character analysis plot and critical writing. So all the way through high school literature. Kumon is more than just, you know, academics or book smarts of math and reading. We are really working on building some, some strong character in students. So we're going to help them to develop perseverance, also stamina. They'll be increasing their confidence along the way and then improving concentration and focus. Um, so these are some Kumon students who have accomplished some amazing things. We do have a lot of students, a majority of students at the center who are studying advanced. Some, some by, you know, just a little bit, some just barely above grade level, but then, you know, some a year, two years, three years, four years, some even five and six years ahead of their grade levels in school. 
So that is one of the fantastic things about the program. Come on success begins with a strong start. Our first step where we'll, um, we'll meet would be the, the placement test for your child. So from the placement test, what I will gain is knowledge about your child. What are their strengths? What are their needs? What are their abilities? And then I'll create a goal from there. So as a Kumon instructor, my favorite thing about Kumon is actually the independent learning piece that, um, that it promotes in our kids. So I've been doing this for um, right now, eight years. And um, when I first opened the center eight years ago, my kids, my own kids were three, five, and seven. And so I've seen huge, huge improvements in their independence, their levels of confidence, not to mention their math and their reading skills, of course. I'm really excited to uh, partner with you and help your child through this process too. Um, at Kumon, parent involvement, of course, is critical. They're doing homework. Your, your kids will be doing homework with you five days a week. Um, their love, your level of involvement will be different depending on their, their age, their abilities. Um, some things though that you can do to help your child get the most they can from Kumon would be designating a Kumon time for homework, encouraging your child to do their work. Also, we ask for parents to do home grading and that will help your child progress actually um, to, to get it graded by you and then fix any mistakes that they had before they go to do tomorrow's work. Also helping them celebrate small and large victories along the way, along the Kumon journey. So some of our policies, we, I ask for a one-year commitment from families. Um, Any time within or beyond that one year that, that you would need to stop Kumon, I just need a 30-day written notice. But the reason I ask for one year is that Kumon is designed as a long-term program. It's not designed as a short-term program or a quick fix kind of thing. And so within that one year, the reason I ask for one year is because I can cover all these three phases within a year. The first phase would be pre-grade level working from wherever a student starts below their grade level up to grade level. Then we can usually work them through grade level and advanced beyond grade level within that one year of, um, of commitment. So in that time, tuition is collected monthly. It's not prepaid or anything like that. Um, and then again, if, if you ever wanted to stop Kumon, then I would need a 30 day written notice and an email is sufficient for that. This is an example of the placement test that I will be conducting with your child. The graph over here on the right shows that there are four different placements that a student could fall into based on their time and their score. That's how we determine mastery at Kumon is based on timing and accuracy. And then this is our curriculum. So this is the reading curriculum starting from pre-reading skills all the way through kindergarten levels up into the sentence building block. That prior one was the word building block. This is building sentences. This is like first through third grade. And then we move up into paragraphs, which is fourth through sixth grade. And then summary block, which will be seventh through ninth grade. And then the critiquing block is that very final stage of cementing all of these, um, these reading concepts into place for 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. So this is the big overview picture of the whole reading program, starting with that word building block, moving up to the sentence building, then paragraph building, summary building, and critiquing. As far as the math goes, this is our curriculum, starting with preschoolers. Uh, Three-year-olds would probably start here, start with, starting with counting, moving up to number writing into addition and subtraction, learning those root memorization, mental math facts, and then to, into two and three digit addition and subtraction right here in level B. Moving up from there, we work on multiplication and division, long multiplication and long division, up into E, which is all fractions and computing fractions, and then F, which is order of operations and decimals. G is going to be like an algebra one type level where we're working on positive and negative numbers and val uh, algebraic expressions and equations. Level H is equivalent with about algebra two in school. And then I is similar to pre-calculus and J is similar to intro to calculus. And then we have these higher level math K 
K through O, and that is some higher level calculus and into, you know, touching on some college level calculus. Once a student completes through level O, they're considered a program completer. And beyond that, they're able to, um, pr to practice, to work on the modules in level X. And so these are um, more in depth visits into vectors, matrices, permutations and probability and statistics. This is an overview of from three years old, the you know, counting and number ordering all the way up through J, which is like intro to calculus. So next time we meet, we'll be doing your child's placement test and I will be happy to um, answer any questions that you have at that time. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to chatting with you. Thanks for listening.